What is up everyone? Welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm your lovely host Jake and today I am doing a review on this massive box of markers from Arteza. Let's hop down below and take a closer look at these. So we got here today Arteza's 60 Ever Blend markers. Arteza sent these out to me. I'm really excited. They wanted me to do a review on them, but that doesn't mean I won't be honest in this review. I'm gonna be brutal as f But Arteza was also nice enough to send out a coupon code along with this as well for you guys for 10% off. So at the end of this video, if you think these things are a steal, now is the time to get them. But anyways, let me get into this review. First off, I am going to give mad props to Arteza for supplying these markers in their own carrying case. And this isn't no cheapo piece of crap. I have a case just like this that I got that's Copic brand, and it's pretty much the same thing as this is. And that thing alone cost me like $35, I think. And this set runs for $69.99, plus if you use the 10% discount, that's like 62 doll hairs to get 60 markers and a carrying case like this. Like I said, one point for Arteza so far. So now for the part we are all waiting for, or well, at least the part I've been waiting for, let's see how these things work. Now, I am a little sad that this doesn't have a brush nib on it. I absolutely love brush nibs, so I guess minus one point for Arteza on that one. But I guess to be honest though, I've done some reviews on some more cheaper-ish markers, and like the Studio 71 and the Artist Loft ones, the brushes on that frayed pretty fast. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they frayed really, really fast. So I guess I would rather have two very sturdy nibs than uh, one that's gonna fray right away. So I guess it's only half a point off for them. Speaking of nibs, Arteza also sent me along the replacements for the nibs as well, which means if you're someone who likes to beat the heck out of your markers, then that means you can actually replace the nibs on it. So that's another point for Arteza on that one. Also, Arteza, if you're listening to this, if you were to ever roll out brush nibs that we could swap out with these ones if we wanted to, even if it was like a smaller one, you know, something something like this. I mean, that would be awesome. I would literally give like a gabillion points right there. Just just throwing that out there. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling again, I'm rambling again. Let's get in to see how this works on blender paper. So I got the idea to make this drawing when I was watching an episode of Rick and Morty right after watching an episode of Dragon Ball Super. And right away I was like, yes, these two need to be a mashup. Well, not right away. Of course, I finished my episode of Rick and Morty first. Now, the part after that was to pick what characters I was going to mash up with Rick and Morty. I ended up going with Goku for Rick. I was kind of bouncing between doing Goku and doing Vegeta, but I decided to go with Goku since I was going to do Morty as Krillin. And with those two being closer to each other, I can see them going on a space adventure together more than I could see Krillin going on one with Vegeta. Now, I know Vegeta's a lot nicer than he was back in the day, but I mean, still, I feel like Vegeta would just be screaming at Krillin the entire time they were in space. So at first I didn't think I was going to be able to get used to the bullet nibs on these pens, but pretty quickly I did get used to them. I basically just used the bullet nib to do all the detail work, and then I went in with the chisel tip anytime I needed to cover a lot more space. One thing I can say though is I know I can get used to these pens pretty fast to make them my main pens that I use. Even by the end of this drawing, I wasn't even thinking about the fact that they weren't brush nibs. But like I said, since these nibs are removable and you can get replacements for them, I really hope down the road Arteza 
rolls out some brush nibs and you can replace them with these ones. Because like I said, I'm gonna probably be using these a lot. What the color range you get is already great and they actually have an even bigger set of 120 markers that barely runs over $100. And I've used some other Arteza products before and I enjoyed all that stuff as well. So if you decide to go over and use that 10% discount, but you don't really use markers all that much, they do have everything from colored pencils to paints. And the discount code will work on anything you buy. But I will let you guys enjoy this last bit and I will see you at the end with my final thoughts. All right, everyone, that is it. Our completed piece of Rick and Morty and DBZ mashup using the 60 Everblend Arteza markers. I think this turned out awesome. So awesome, I might have to turn it into a shirt. All in all, these markers worked really well to create this piece. So for that one, I give Arteza another point. But as far as the bullet nib goes, I did start to get used to it towards the end of the drawing but I really do wish it was a brush nib. But to be honest, I can really get used to using these ones more often without the brush. And if my math is correct, which it almost sometimes is, we got like a lot more points for the positive over the negative for these markers. And I know for a fact I'm gonna be using this set pretty often with the large set of colors that comes in this set and the fact that they actually blend really well with the Artist Loft markers, that it makes it a great deal if you already have some of those markers. And like I said before, there is a link down in the description below that'll bring you to the Arteza webpage. Once you go there, you can use that 10% discount to get whatever you want. 10% discount is should be right here somewhere around here. So think of it this way, this set costs about $65 plus tax. So take 10% off, you're looking at spending about $63 or so, which is gonna bring it around just barely over a dollar per marker and like barely over a dollar, like four or five, six cents. Like I said, my math is almost always sometimes correct. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. If you haven't yet, make sure you smack that sub button and hit that little bell button so you guys know when I'm posting videos. And like always, keep drawing, and until next time, bye!